What's going on, YouTube? James Prigioni. Coming to you live from Jersey. It's September 5th. Bringing you along for an update. Had a few things in our mind we wanted to share. So, these were some of the poppies that we had started from seed this year. They're already expanding and moving a lot. And I just love this flower. It's one of my favorite ones of the year. Some other flowers, nasturtiums, and things like that coming through. Marigolds and some calendulas awesome. also. I just wanted to really talk about a few things. One of the things is maybe why you'll see how we have a lot of beans that we haven't harvested. And the main idea with that is because we're going to be saving these for seed. That's one of the main purposes of this garden this year since this was really one of the first years that we the first year that we really started gardening like this. Uh, we really need to get seed saved up for the next year and for the following year so we can really expand. We're looking to exponentially grow and the seed stock is really the foundation of everything obviously. I'm also looking to move to a bigger property in, in the future at one point so I'm trying to grow seed stock and grow my seed stock so I can go out and just plant and not have to spend a lot of money on purchasing seeds especially unreliable ones. So that's one of the main reasons for this garden for this our garden is to grow seed stock for the future and also to really supplement our food as you guys know the food industry has just gotten terrible organic doesn't even mean organic anymore you know they just change the words and it's just gotten out of control so we're we're really looking to supplement our food not even just for money essentially which is all, always good but also for for health reasons because I mean the vitamins are even made with GMO foods and stuff now so only way you can get healthy food is if you grow it yourself. So we see this as better than vitamins, you know. Eating a cucumber is better than any vitamin or anything you could take, in my opinion. So that's one of the main reasons for doing this. And uh, and all and also was to learn a lot. We wanted to make sure we could, like I was saying, if I'm looking to move into the future uh, to a bigger place, I wanted to make sure I could do something that would be scalable. And what I mean by that is this system right here doesn't didn't take any work since we initially started it so if I did this same exact system produce the same exact system we have going here on five acres it wouldn't take uh, any more work essentially besides the initial setup so I, I could come through here and get high production and till and and you know create get a lot of food and really get pounds of food I bet but if I was to try that on four acres I would not be able to do that by myself so it's just not realistic so this is really a, a system that doesn't take any work besides the initial work it takes some stewardship to come through clean things up and such like that but it doesn't take real physical hard labor besides the harvesting and the planting of seed so this is really a scalable system that is self replicating once we get it started it really replicates itself and that's really order in my opinion well I mean the, some people's opinion order is when your system gives you more output than input you have to put into it. That's order. It doesn't has, has nothing to do with the way things look. It just has to do with producing more than it consumes, or even equal. And disorder is when you have something that takes more energy than it produces. So, I mean, that's that's really what is what it is like in my opinion. So, this is a scalable system that can that can be moved anywhere and on any scale and that's really it's almost universal basically and that's that's really important when you're looking at to do things with small amounts of people and su such like that but if I threw this on five acres you know I could be grabbing yields pretty good and not have put in a lot of work so that's really the idea and that's why the system is how it is and why we don't water and such because I wanted to know that this could work basically and that uh that I could survive off the food and another thing with this system staying on the scalable is this is a time scale system. And what do I mean by that is this is an annual, these are all annual vegetables in here, right here, and stuff. But there are perennials all throughout. For instance, there's a cherry tree here, another cherry tree over there, a fig tree in the middle. We got a plum tree over here. There's a gold, golden delicious apple tree, another apple tree over there five grafted apple tree right here another apple tree in the front grapes grapes 
strawberry so you can see there's all perennials throughout here so the real thing that this system this annual system is doing is collecting seed and growing fertility for the future perennials because these perennials aren't fruit and yet they're still young so we're really getting a yield and growing fertility while we're waiting for the perennials to come and produce for us so uh, it's it's a, it's a thought out system we did a lot that's one of the old maybe basic mon sorry most of the work we did was designing and pre-thought and things like that observation so we have apple trees seedlings planted throughout we have apple trees growing this one over here is looking pretty good so I mean we have apple trees go growing throughout the garden uh, from seedlings and then we have the five grafted apple tree so that if we ever wanted to graft onto these apples in the future so we have five different choices varieties another apple tree maybe I'll show you a couple more I know there's a couple in here so this is there's a couple more apple trees down there so this is just this it it's an alternative to most systems where people are putting a lot of work in and stuff but we could do that but this is really looking towards the future and we're growing fertility and getting ready for a perennial system to come in and then once the perennials come in that's just reliable food that you really don't have to do any work for and that's what it's really all about so this is really a, sex, a succession towards a food forest and I just wanted to give my opinion why we do what we do so if you have any opinion or any ideas let me know guys I know maybe some people watch the channel and don't realize why we don't water or you know why we don't why we're so maybe hard on our plants kinda in some senses but we're really looking towards the future and while we're looking towards the future we're getting production and feeding ourselves so just some things I wanted to share. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for following along. James Prigioni. So.